Okay, so I've made up for my mistakes and I have now got this, which is um, a proper oak table and uh, it's right nice as well. But look at that. So that's the underneath, so that's what we can sort of get it back looking like. Um, I might have to take this out first before I show it you. Let's get it on back and then um, I'll show you what it looks like. Right, yeah, so this is honestly, this is mint. I picked it up last night, didn't really look at it. Like, literally, really good condition. Um, there's a few marks as expected, but this is going to be sanded down, but it doesn't look like it needs a lot at all. It's uh, got some really nice colours in there as well. We've even got some like end pieces because it's like extendable table. So we've even got some end pieces so might be able to work with with end pieces as well and uh, maybe add a little bit of oak even there throughout the band but we'll have to uh, sort of make that up as we go along and see if that works but nice so i'm going to get this sanded down and uh, again we can't cut out the sink because um not taking a risk on that so we'll have to wait for that to come but um i've got a template so we can do that cut it out in the template put it over this once done and then we can cut it out into this i've got the gas locker here now that's just been delivered this morning so i'm just locating that into um, the new kitchen frame and just working out where I can come through with a dropout vent. Uh, I've also got the diesel heater to fit in because it's now getting colder and I can't wait for the hot water system to come so I'm going to place that um, cut and all that and get that fitted as well. Right so this is the frame of the kitchen and this is where the gas lock is going. Now, I always put a piece of 18mm between this and the wall where the gas lock is going because um, I do get the ones with the door that just comes off. <coughs> it's a little bit easier to work. And if you buff this right up to the door, it's hard to get these off. So if you just come away a little bit uh, by putting an 18mm or something, then that will come off a lot easier. I measured a while back and I think this is the place for it to come out so then we can vent uh, the drop out vent there somewhere at the back I'm going to re-measure it we're going to do that there now this is then going to be raised so the drop out vent is going to be quite a long one we're going to raise this off the floor so we can actually run um, water pipes through there so you don't see them into this side here so yeah, we're just gonna have a false floor, and we can run, um, we can run everything underneath. So I don't want to be seeing anything. Just looks like cosmetically better. Diesel heater will be going in this area. Um, this is where the hot water tank, diesel heater, a diverter, and heat exchanger, and everything's gonna go. And the diesel heater will be coming out in this section here. Um, that's the bit I've had to extend really because with that delay on the hot water system so gonna check out see if, where we can put this diesel heater first and then I'm just gonna take a stab at, at fitting it and hope it's a uh, good location
Okay, diesel heat is all fitted and it's up and running. But I've just took off the uh, the cover for this because if you can just hear. There's a little bit of a noise coming from it. <clears throat> it's not mega loud, but depends how, how fast the fan's running. It just seems to be just, I think, just rubbing on a bit of plastic. Sometimes the fans just need pushing out a little bit. Right, okay, I think we've, um, I've not had it up and running yet, but I think we've fixed it. If you just look in here, it's a bit dark, but if you just look in here, so just uh, this little bit here that actually comes off, it just lifts out. Uh, there's an elongated hole for a screw. Now the back of this is touching the metal, so this won't come any further this way. But if you just cut a slither off this plastic, move it this way a bit and then screw it back in this fan seems to be freely moving now and it doesn't seem to rub so i think that that should have fixed it i'm just going to screw it back down and then start it up again and uh, see if we've reduced the noise a little bit okay listen That fan is running smooth as now. Before I was like, I had to like pretend it were like, in my head that it were like night time. And I'm like, could you handle that noise? And I'm like, nah, that's way too loud. Um, so that's why I thought, right, there's some rubbing. Uh, let's get in there, let's fix it. So we can get a, a little bit of a nicer night's sleep. Cause you don't want that if you're running that. Uh, diesel eater. Sometimes diesel eaters come with minor little issues and they just need little manoeuvres, little things sorting. I've had this before, mainly with the propeller, but that sorted, mint, done. Right, had lots of deliveries today. Just, I've decided to open them in here because while I'm doing diesel eater, kill two birds and all that. Um, just, yeah, got ulcers, um, sockets, loads of water fittings. This one, big one for the water tank in the back. Where I'm at at the minute is I've got so much going on and what I need to do, I need to write a list out. I need to work my, work my way through the list because when I've got all this in my head, there's this to do, there's that to do. I tend to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that and nothing really gets done. I'll just tell you what I have got to do. So the water tanks in the back, that all needs plumbing and coming through into here. But because we've got the hot water system that's not due well November, the 7th, I think. Um, in fact, that's when it's shipped out, so it'll be after that. Because that's not due then, I can't plumb into that system, so it could be a waste plumbing that through, if you get me. So I might have to leave that. But I've got loads of other bits. I can plumb the back bit and then plumb into the front after. I've got the worktop to sand down, the old worktop that we picked up. I've got that to rub down, cut out. This is a template worktop, just a bit of 12 mil ply. So I've got the sink to put in, the tap to put in, all the plumbing down there, the gas, uh, the gas pipes to run. We've got the gas locker. I've got to drill the dropout vent for that. We've got some 230 sockets. We've got one here down here which kind of matches we've got a monitor this side and then we're gonna have a socket that side so it just evens it out a little bit we've got um, an hidden socket under here which will be hidden under a flip down table so when you flip that up put your appliances on or whatnot plug them in there unplug them pop it back down now I'm really really happy with this fan it is looking amazing already the layout I love the layout Sleeps two, double bed. Third person, sofa, but bed to sleep a smaller person. Um, got three seats in the front, so it's an actual three berth. It drives three, it sleeps three. The layout I love. Small kitchen, plenty of seating. So you can seat three as well, not just seating two or one on the bed and then two down here. It actually seats three in the seating area and it sleeps three. So everything's working. It all it just all works together. Um, <coughs> fridge, toilet, all that lot. 
this is the bit I need to do next, but right now I'm going to make that list and I'm going to work my way through that list. Again, thanks for tuning in. Please leave a comment. Please do a thumbs up and um, support the video. It means a lot to me. I hope it's been a help or all any of my videos. I hope they've helped you out in some way. And uh, I just enjoy making them. So as long as I'm enjoying it still, that's all that matters really, isn't it? And if you get some out of it, then we're all winners. So anyway, we'll see you next time.